Are you feeling better, little man? Yeah, I think you are. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Early start. Got to get Billy. Go help him get some machinery. He needs to go and show me something that apparently I need to see. And then I need to get back here and get on with stuff for the video. So, let's do it. Okay, okay. Ready to film, are we? I think so. I'm okay. knackered. Poor Phil. Anyway, welcome back to Chateau de Sive, everyone. Um, we call it Chateau de Sive because its roof resembles a sieve. Um, yeah, we're back here today. Um, and we're going to talk about it a bit more. So, it's... yeah, welcome to another video. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've taken over my channel again? What do you think, Phil? So, you looked around this Orion. I did. And... We've actually spoke to the owner. You've spoken to the owner, and obviously Ryan hasn't got sort of the renovating experience. So you're hoping that I um, say that this is a great idea. Is that right? No. I was hoping that you'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> because, okay, get this everyone. Apparently this chateau is so cheap, you could put it on a credit card. It's the same price as a used car. Looking at it now, I'd rather have the car, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it, though. It's got a coal hole. It don't know. looks like a very, very typical French Parisian-style chateau. I don't know. That's the only vibe I get from it. It's like something out of, a, I don't know, like a Charles Dickens novel. Doesn't it? Miss Havisham's... I was going to say horror movie, horror but... looking at us funny, but it's all right. Part of the roof. Part nice. of the zinc roof. Yeah. That's, uh, I like how they've kept the shutters closed with screwed wood. How small is it now, Phil? It's getting bigger, isn't it? It is, it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Keep coming. Mm. Was this part of a school once? This was part of a school, yes. It was a school back in, um, up until I think the late 90s, I think. I'm not sure exactly how big is it now. Oh, for. okay, all right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to see. I'm starting to understand. I'd say it's even possibly bigger than our place. What do you reckon? It's not as tall, but it's definitely... It's, it's deeper. Deeper, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm getting sp spooky vibes from it now. <laughs> it has got some spooky vibes. Actually, i tell you what's spooky for me. I like it, though, is you've got these little sort of these windows that pop out which are dormers, cool. then you've got the small ones yeah. that's, that's, that are just above it. I can't remember the pronunciation of it. It's like Ulle de Boeuf or something like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, cow's eyes, yeah, yeah, basically. I thought they were the round ones that were... No, they are them, yeah. Essentially okay. zinc dormers that are slightly round, yeah. Right. You're probably right, though. Ooh. Billy? What? The basement door's open. Yeah, we're not going in there, Phil. Yeah, that's... Cause... Not going in there. <laughs> Nothing good happens in a basement. I'd rather go in the convent <laughs> at night. What's this? It's unusual, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, what is it? Look that beautiful piece of quartz. It's just Ooh. embedded in the stonework. Anyway, it gets bigger. Oh. Is that a hole in the ground? What's that? I don't know. It's a hole in the ground. It only goes about a metre deep. Oh, okay. Oh! <gasps> What's in here? What is in there? 
Oh, it's like a horrible kitcheny thing, Billy. Yeah. Oh, that is. If that is anything of the rest of the thing to go by, that is ruined. <laughs> That's ruined. So the whole point of this video is today is that I actually don't want to buy it. As cheap as it is. It's just gonna destroy any other project I've currently got going because I'd be more interested in this because it's in worse condition than the convent. However, you people of good YouTube who are viewing this video today, you know, if you've got a little bit of money tucked away under your bed, in the sock drawer, empty it out, come and save this place. What do you think? I think this is the entire reason why I'm here is because you're trying to convince me to do it. <laughs> That was quite big. That's, that's the staircase, Phil. Is that the staircase? All right. Wow. Needs some glass, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. But glass isn't expensive. Mm. <sighs> What's in here? What's in here? What is in there? Oh, it is absolutely trashed, isn't it? <laughs> it's magnificent. She's an old beauty. Oh, I like those windows. I need to get back. That's a shame. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's beautiful. So that's, that's the staircase. So staircase, the bottom half. Obviously, there's rooms yeah. above. And you've also got galleries looking out over the staircase as well, which is really nice. Yeah. Such a shame it's been left to go like this. Yeah, there's trees growing out of it. I want to get in it. <laughs> so this one here, Phil, is a huge retaining wall. And in old postcards, you can see that it was completely like open. Nice outbuilding, by the way. Oh, reckon that's with it? That is with it, yeah. Oh, wow. So the land's in about four, five acres, something like that. All right. You're not overexposed, are you, Phil? No. <laughs> no I'm not exposing myself. That'd be cool. You reckon that's original or something that's been built since? It's probably original that's been modified. All right. Yeah. <sighs> the problem is, I just, you see something like this, you just want to save it, don't you? And Regardless of money or consequence. Yeah. It'd be fun knocking around here all day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Discovering things and... You know, make whatever you did to this place, it wouldn't certainly make it wouldn't any, like start again. Whatever you did to this place, regardless of what you did, it wouldn't make it any worse. So. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon I could give it a go. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Oh yeah. Ivy. That's what's down there. Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of ivy. It's great, isn't it? <sighs> well, it's not great, but it's a yeah. great building. <laughs> and there's a tree just growing out of that shutter. And that's... Uh, well, look at the angle of those dormers where they're facing back. A big crack there coming down. That's walls all bowing out. There's literally trees everywhere. So obviously, we all, if we've been watching, know that something else that I really wanted has potentially come up for sale recently. 
needs huge amounts of work, just like this. Uh, this, again, the roof from this place is gonna be 200 grand in materials, probably not even including labor. Let alone structural issues, which the other place has got as well. But this has much lower, much, much, much lower asking price. But I can't see the business potential in this here. I just can't see what you do with it to warrant all of the money going with it. And that's the sad thing about these places. They get like this, all the land's gone, they have no way to support them, and they're just not worth saving. Well, unfortunately, me and my quilted jacket aren't going to save it, I don't think, just because the price of materials at the moment in France with the, is it the cost of living crisis? Yeah, it's all over Europe at it. the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. just don't know. I mean, I'd love someone to save it, though. Maybe we should start a charity to save them, Billy. <laughs> we buy any WeBuyAnyChateau.com, we yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I haven't got quite got the funds to buy lots of chateaus, Phil, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'd yeah. love someone to save it. Just... Don't think someone's going to manage it. I don't know, yeah. I think, I think, I don't know. I think it's lost. It's going to be lost, which is a sad thing, but it's the world we live in. Can't say more. Um, but maybe.